Today I'm discussing creating designs for puzzles for sale. There are two simple print-on-demand methods to sell puzzles. One way is to connect Printify with your Etsy, Shopify, or other shop, and sell puzzles printed by Printify. However, this method does not suit me. If you've checked out my Etsy shop, you'd see that I've ditched all physical products in favor of just downloadable items. I'm all for print-on-demand and commissions, but supporting print-on-demand items? Not so much. The usual hassles? Shipping delays? Sometimes print quality issues or sizing mix-ups? This is something that's out of my hands, and that's why I'm not a fan. Sure, I could sort it out, but to me, it feels like a big, pointless time sink. But hey, that's just me. Now on to method two. Using Redbubble's print-on-demand platform, zero customer contact. With Printify, you might earn more, while Redbubble offers around $4 to $6 per sale. But you know you can bump up the price if you like. In a world where anyone can whip up stunning images, why would someone choose to buy your puzzle? Here's the trick. If you just create a stunning, random image and slap it onto a puzzle, sure you might snag a few sales here and there but don't expect anything groundbreaking. The real key is to hone in on specific niches, to tap into what customers are really into. We're talking about aligning your designs with their interests and hobbies, things like hiking, kayaking, mineral collecting, or even particular animal breeds. If you go the Printify way, you can sell personalized puzzles. The popular one is Wedding Niche. This targeted approach is what can truly make your puzzle design stand out and attract more dedicated buyers. For today's example, let's take Goths. I'm not entirely sure if it's still a big thing, but I still see some goth folks around so it might just work. Did you know, every year, World Goth Day rolls around on May 22nd. Now puzzles might not be the top seller for Goth Day, but goths celebrate birthdays, Christmas, and other events, just like the rest of us. Stuck for a gift idea? A goth-themed puzzle might just be the perfect pick. Plus, for fans of the style, Buying it for themselves if they dig the image makes sense. And hey, World Goth Day could be a neat keyword to play with. All right, enough talk, let's get to the action. First up, creating your image. I'm going to show you two options, ChatGPT Dolly, which is paid option, and Playground AI, which lets you crank out up to 500 images daily for free. That's a crazy number, I mean, who makes 500 images a day? Let's kick off with ChatGPT. The prompt I use is, Please generate a stunning goth-themed image that I can put on a puzzle. Target audience, goths. The outcome? Pretty cool, but I totally spaced on mentioning the aspect ratio. So, I hit it with another prompt. It's nice, with many details for the puzzle. But I forgot to mention that I need it in the 16.9 aspect ratio. Please generate another one, just nothing related to Halloween. The next image? Not really feeling it. And I make that clear to ChatGPT. The chat asks for more specifics, and I say the first one was on point. But now, it's smaller than the canvas. My next prompt is. Nice, but please fill in all the canvas. It's not perfect, but to save time, I decide to roll with the previous one and crop it to my liking. Or maybe, I'll pick another one generated by Playground AI. So, here I am at Playground AI, first timer and all. I decide to try the same prompt I used for ChatGPT. The result? Not quite what I'm looking for. Time for a tweak. Uh-oh. Safety issue detected. Adjust the prompter seed, it says. 
Does that mean it's using my first image as a reference? That's intriguing. Could mean I can create a series of similar images. Definitely something to dig into later. For now, I delete what I suspect is the seed and add photorealistic fantasy to the mix. All right, this is going to take a moment. I'll speed up the video here and jump to the part that works for me. Enough experimenting for now. I've got to say, this tool's a beast. Loaded with awesome features. I'm definitely coming back to it. Maybe even dedicate a whole video to it. But let's get back to the puzzle. My prompts today are a bit off, so I'm going with the chat GPT image I like the most. Fun fact, you can upload your images to Playground AI and upscale them fourfold. Let's give it a whirl. Uploaded the image. Now hitting the upscaler. Oops. Error. Maybe it's too big compared to Playground's usual stuff. Let's try a workaround. I found out you can make a copy of an image here, so let's see if doing that lets me upscale it. Fingers crossed. Sorry, gotta try this. I'm curious if these two steps will improve the image. Hmm, not sure. Okay, finally, upscale time. And hey, it works. I'll be back to play more in this digital sandbox, but for now, let's push on. The upscaled image looks sharp. It's at 4096 by 2804 pixels, but I bet that's too small for Redbubble's puzzle specs. Let's check. Yep, Redbubble needs it at least 9075 by 62101 pixels. To beef it up, I'll use upscale software I recently snagged. It's free, and I'm planning a video about it soon. Looks like the new size is going to be 16384 by 1121 pixels. Pretty impressive. Time to jump onto Redbubble. First step, listing creation. I head over to ChatGPT and drop this prompt. Please generate an SEO title, description, and 15 comma-separated related keywords for a product. Image attached. The product is goth theme puzzle, but don't mention the word puzzle in the title, description, and keywords. Instead, use artwork, the main keyword. World Goth Day. The result is solid, but the title's not hitting the mark for me. I ask for 10 different variations to pick from. Nice. This one's packed with keywords, that's my pick. Now on to product creation. Image uploaded. Whoa, it's too big. Let's dial down the size a bit. This should do it. And we're live. Title, keywords, and description copied and pasted. I'm throwing in a few more products alongside the puzzle, seeing what fits. Heads up, some items like t shirts are a no go for this kind of image. Time for a quick product review. Hmm, I think I might have enabled too many options. Duvets and blankets probably not needed, but I'll let them stay. Now, 
Let's check out the puzzle, the star of this show. Looking good. The customer reviews on Redbubble puzzles aren't top notch, but that's out of my hands. And that wraps it up for today. Sorry if things felt a bit jumbled in this video. Hope you still found some useful nuggets in it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.